Good morning, guys. On. This is a little tough. Whew. All right, it's been a long time coming, but harvest 2024 has begun today. Or more like is about to begin. Hold on. Chock full of oil. First off, though, before I get the tractor started, I need to grease all the fittings are back here. Everything behind the tractor. And then I can get this started. I probably, I, yeah, this is you. That just ain't right. Squeeze back through here. Where are you going? Grazing. Nasty. Set this gate up real quick. And the ladder. Hmm. Might need a screwdriver. I've been trying to close that, but kind of where that gap closes. Chock full of nastiness. Some corn left over, soybeans, wet, rotten. I'm gonna grab a, screw a screwdriver. That's what I'm trying to say. Grab a screwdriver, clean that out. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do here. Must be good. Let's try it out. Now, that's a little bit better. This is actually pretty nice. Just chilling in the shade, you know? Much better. Much better than being out there in the sun. Shoe is pretty toasty out there. But um, I guess we'll go ahead. Get the track started. Pretty historic moment, you know. First start of harvest 2024. Yeah. There we go. I need some AC in my life. Man. This is what happens when you're working. So, apparently, he's getting started right over there. You can kind of see the tip of the combine over there well I'm trying to think of some kind of funny pun or something getting ready for harvest but anyway might as well get everything revved up and everything because he just got started I'm gonna see if I can't get my drone up in the air and uh, get you guys some cool video so see what that looks like Just got my drone landed and everything. This right here should be just enough to make it just about the first load of the day. Right back there, near the shed, that blue dump truck right there. I'm gonna try and dump on him for the first time in a long time. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna cut a hole through it a lot. You can wait till I go around if you want. So basically what he just said, I think he's gonna not turn it right now save you for later uh, <laughs> anyway I think what he said he's gonna turn around and cut back through all this so that way I don't have to go all the way down this hill over here with the big load and everything so I reckon I'll just chill here until he comes back dump on Bruce's truck right there yeah, that's a game plan right now ready or not here she comes cuz where's it at oh there's the auger might as well walk y'all through it with me Teach myself a little bit. It's been a while. Um, anyway, turn on the PTO right here. This green button right here is actually what raises it up. So I need that. I need this blue one right here. Just gonna open the gate back there. Sorry guys. Gate open. So that's number two. I'm gonna close that one. Get that one out the way. And um, this right here, number three. Out just a hair so we can go, go in and out, you know, wiggle it around a little bit if we'll get too close too far. So, yeah, yeah, that's just what's going on. 
might actually slow down the gate just a hair. Since I'm not quite used to all this, and especially corn runs over quite quickly. <laughs> so then that's pretty much it. Just close the gate, turn off PTO, and then you just let the auger until it stops spinning before you put down the auger. And uh, yeah, but you put on what? Couldn't really tell you. You got 100 pounds you had? No, it was, I mean, it was probably, that's probably pretty close to 40,000. Okay. Are you able to stay on there? Yeah, it should. You just hold down the green button right there. And that's about it. Finished up our second load of the day in our second field on our second round of this field. <laughs> I did forget one thing though. We have um we have an app on the iPad that we um, are supposed to put in pretty much all the data and everything from each load. So basically, I'll dump a certain amount. So all I gotta do is click a button and you know it'll keep track of it for me. So we can keep track of how much goes in the bins and how much they haul in the trucks and everything. Well, I forgot to do that. So we can try and do it manually. It won't be perfect, but I mean, I guess it gets better than nothing. So funny too, you'll probably won't be able to tell. Let me turn around the camera real quick. I'm going down a pretty steep hill and it just looks like he's like biting it hard. But y'all probably can't even tell on the camera. It probably looks pretty flat. y'all could tell or not from all the drone shots but uh all this corn down here it's some of it's a little damp one of the spots was actually a lot of morning glories that were getting caught up in the combine but um we had a super dry year even right here the yield was about 110 average over there down there in the bottom which i mean usually down in the bottom it does better you know if you get you know some rain and everything because it's flat and the rain doesn't just run off the side of a hill kind of like right here or something but uh yeah we only have one truck going right now. We don't even really need to with how much it's yielding because, I mean, by the time we get a full load in the grain cart, he's coming back because it's not like a super far drive. It might take about, you know, half an hour or so to actually unload. Maybe half, maybe a full hour, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so it's not really doing the hottest. I mean, other than it being super hot outside, you know. Do you mean to follow you or are you coming back? Yeah, I'm probably going to come back. All right. I just like to check what he's actually doing so I don't have to make unnecessary loop-de-loops, I guess. While I'm waiting for him to come back, I uh, got some jelly beans um, for like $3 on Clarence. I'm like, why in the world would anyone put jelly beans on Clarence? I mean, like, they're always good. But apparently these are sour. And I, I don't know. They To me, they just kind of taste like Play-Doh. They're like Play-Doh flavored with like a little bit of citrus or something. And it's like, I keep on trying them, hoping that they'll get better. And you're like, as soon as you try one, you're like, why? Why did I try one? I've got it. Oh, uh, they, they just smell like Play-Doh, I guess. Oh, funky. Really funky after flavor, too. Like, aftertaste. I get bored. I'm bored. I'm never just talking. Not making any sense. I'm sorry you have to listen to me. Might as well just click off the video and go do something else. Go do something fun. Hang out with your family or something. Well, we just got the last truck of the day all loaded up. We're going to head on over here. I think he's probably got one more dump for me. And we're probably just going to leave it in the grain cart. Put the tarp on it. Call it a day.
ride back home in the dump truck and get everything unloaded. And uh, yeah, probably be back out here tomorrow. So thank y'all for watching. I don't know how good of a video it was, but y'all were here. And if you stuck around this long, apparently you must have thought it was good. So, <laughs> uh, well, hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you guys around. Uh, I'm tired. I need a nap. <laughs>